What is going on with y'all, man? Y'all listen. We in the building again. You know what I'm saying? Y'all listen. I told y'all I was going to do it, bro. Y'all, this is what we need right now, bro. I need y'all to stand up in the down below. You know what I'm saying? So if you're brand new, you know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Unless you've been here and you're just playing games. You understand what I'm saying? Like these modern women be playing games all day, every day. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all, so listen, y'all, today's video, uh, if I can find the title. Oh, oh. first of all, give, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you start playing, bro. Give me a... You know what I'm saying? So y'all, anyway, today's video, the biggest red flags, men and women. So we about to find out what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... Y'all ready, man? Headphones up. Let's get into it. Let's see what's cracking like with these red flag motherfuckers. What is the biggest red flag? Bro, when a girl is going to Miami with her friends for spring break. Yeah, you lost to my boy. Done. Yeah, done, bro. That's red flag. Yeah, red flag. Another one. If she from the Bronx, especially South Bronx, no, red red flag. Oh, red flag. Red flag bro. in the play? Yes. <laughs> on the play. What else? Oh, when she put the same picture saying, take me back, take me back, just pay for another vacation, bro, they red flag. It. <laughs> what? Yo, I think, um, I think out of that one, I think I'm gonna have to say the first one, you know what I'm saying? Because like a lot of dudes don't know, if you don't know, now you about to know, you know, because I know it's a lot of dudes, you know what I'm saying, today that's still kind of uh, rookies in the game when it comes to dealing with women and understanding why women do what they do, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say I'm... At extremely advanced, but you know, I've, I've seen enough to pretty much understand uh, how not to get finessed. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? But anyway, pretty much what he was saying in the first the first red flag, y'all, is basically girl trips. You know, ba girl trips are basically those getaways where all the fee all the girlfriends link together and they go out wherever they're going and they pretty much going to do hood rash with all different kind of girls. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be everywhere. You know, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, if, if your girl, your girl just happened to be one of the girls a part of the girl trip, you know what I'm saying? I just hope, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just hope your girl, like, she, you know, she don't rock like that. But, you know, a lot of time, you know, you just never know, you know, if she one of those e easily influenced women where, you know, she got some friends that can pretty much... You know, pretty much talk a cat into jumping off the building if they really wanted to. You know what I'm saying? That's how much influence they got. You know, so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But you know, nine times out of ten, girls just be on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. Red flags to look out for. Number one, every time you go out, they just happen to have something to argue about. Hmm. Number two, anytime there's an issue, you they probably want to go on some a, break. a break is an excuse to cheat. And then when you find out, they can be like, well, we were on a break. Three, they cheated on the person they were with right before you. Four, they're still friends with their ex. Five, they can't apologize without putting themselves down. So it'll sound something like, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a piece of SHIT. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can never do anything right. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. What are some weirdly specific things that you okay. can say? Okay, I, I I can I can agree with some of those. I can agree with a lot of those. But like I told y'all, it really just depends on the type of person you're dealing with. Because I mean, you you got some really shiesty ass people uh, in this in this in this world. You know what I'm saying? Who you know? Like I told y'all, y'all got scammers, drug dealers. You know what I'm saying? That y'all a lot of y'all people like y'all females like to deal with y'all. A lot of y'all females pick bad any goddamn way. Y'all pick dudes that y'all and y'all. All the, a lot of the dudes y'all meet literally was in the club any fucking way. You know what I'm saying? Y'all met these dudes in the streets, in the clubs, at parties, through other shady ass friends that of yours. You know, and then y'all complain about the dudes like, come on, man, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta get real, man. Like I told y'all, no accountability. Y'all not meeting these dudes in in no legit places you know y'all and then y'all had a nerve to try to red flag you know all men if, if, if you're dealing with a man every man is just a red flag with this like no all that shit don't apply to all men you know what i'm saying that's some a lot of that shit applies to your fashion over wearing ass you know what i'm saying anyway let's go there to be red flags in men if it's he is not out. ambitious or committed to his growth huge red flag just think of it this way what is someone who has no goals going to offer to you? This person is probably used to settling for less and will probably expect you to do the same. So don't settle and find a man who's working on himself every single day. In other words, fellas, you need to 
have a $100,000 idea or I'm not going to be with you. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Because like I told you, a lot of these women, they want scammers, drug dealers. They don't want no nine to F or nine to five man. You know what I'm saying? Nine to five niggas. We don't want them. We don't want them at all. You know what I'm saying? When you're dealing with chicks like this, you know what I'm saying? Which is AKA they, they try to uh, rephrase shit as ambitious, which is basically you need to have some kind of super high expectation for yourself or some kind of super goal, super long term goal where you could possibly become a millionaire where y'all can go to Jamaica and all this shit every weekend. You know what I'm saying? Because she gonna leave you if she bored more than three hours a day. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Straight up. What's Let's the go. biggest red flag in a guy? Friendliness. What's the biggest red flag in a guy? If it's like really obsessed with cars. What? Yeah. Alright, why that? Why cars? I don't know. Oh no, you didn't just go there. Bitch. You just that's a low blow right there, y'all, because I'm a car guy. I'm a car guy. You understand what I'm saying? And I'ma tell you, I'ma look listen, I'ma tell you why. Chicks like this say what they say, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you why they say what they say. Because they feel like, yo, you know, shout out to, first of all, before I dive into it, bro, shout out to all my car guys. If I got any car guys in the comments, bro, stand up, first of all. But I'm going to tell y'all why women say shit like this. Because I, we, I ain't going to say I love my car more than you, but I enjoy my hobby and as dealing with my cars, you know what I'm saying? Because... And I'm going to tell y'all, quite frankly, a lot of women that say shit like this don't have hobbies of their own. You know, that's why they always picking at dudes. If a dude has a hobby or anything that involves his attention being altered towards that versus being altered towards her, she's going to have a problem with it. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. If, you. if you enjoyed staring out the window, watching the sun come up and go down more than you enjoy sitting upstairs looking at watching netflix and all this other shit all day long with her she would tell you something about your dumb ass hobby oh you just want to sit and watch the sun go up and down all day what kind of man are you yes sir this nigga's spitting down nigga come on man you, it ain't it ain't even a car guy thing you know what i'm saying like bro get out of here it ain't even a car guy thing that's just in other words is if a man has a hobby and anything that takes his attention away from me, I have a problem with it. It's pretty much what you wanted to say. You know what I'm saying? Uh, car guys are just annoying. I don't like loud cars. Dusty controller. Picture me. I'm a wrist is frozen. Calling my body, I'm chosen. Now I got a wide open. See off the perky seat. And she ride for the game. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. But no, that's that's me though, seriously. My car loud as hell too. Top five red flags and girl. If your girl does any of these things on here, you better get away. Number five is that zodiac sign bull crap. Like if you're gonna judge who I am based off the day I was born, you got a serious problem. Like it's Big not facts. my fault. I didn't know how it was gonna be when I was pushing out of my mom's, you know what? Number four is Instagram followers, bro. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Usually I look at it like if she's got like three thousand or less, she's okay. Anything over 3K, she's definitely got D1 dudes out the butt in her DMs, bro. Number three is if she got a shoe game, bro. I'm gonna hold you like, yeah, it's tough, but somebody was getting her hit to the shoe game before you, and somebody still is if it isn't you. Think about that for a second. Number two is if she got a guy best friend. All dudes think alike, and that guy best friend looks at your girlfriend just like you do. Think about it. And number one, bro, is snap score. If it's over a mil, you better hit the hills, bro. Stay safe, my friend. <laughs> Y'all, big facts. I'm, I'm rocking with all those, man. Because definitely, I'm going to say the shoe game one because, you know, women women just aren't in the shoes. It's probably, it, like, real shit, if she has more sneakers than she has of, like, actual feminine women's shoes, yeah, that's a that's a big bear flag. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Future, where does she belong? She belongs to the streets. What do you think the biggest red flag is in a guy? <laughs> um... Acting different in front of his friends or being rude to his mom. Mm, I, I can get with that. I mean, I mean that's, Listen, pussy, I can go either way. Do not ignore the biggest fucking red flag there is just because you love her. You want to know what the biggest red flag there is? A flirty personality. And I'll tell you why. It's because there is no such thing as a flirty personality. You're either flirting or you're not. 
That girl does not have a flirty personality with the 65 year old fat dude. But she has a flirty personality with your homeboys. Nah, it ain't no flirty personality. She's flirting with them. She's flirting with them, okay? That is a red flag. If you get yep, any face. kind of fucking any kind of feeling that she's being really flirty around your friends and she is touching up on them the door's that way it's that simple i don't care what you fucking think of her i don't care guys who talk about their exes too much clearly you're not over her yet the ones who only talk about themselves any guy who says my ex is crazy all my exes are crazy whatever no babe 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 what the fuck did you do to make them crazy because i know girls i know girls they're not crazy until you make them crazy guys that always make you come to them they will never come to you. What? What is this? Any guy who constantly says Saturdays are for the boys, like, babe. Girl, if you're with a man like that, he will not give two fucks about you. His boys will always come before you. No. Most of the time, not all, but 90% of the time, a guy who has a girl best friend is not a really a girl best friend. That's your competition. She secretly wants that guy. Bitch, how you knew it? What's the biggest red flag <laughs> in the NYC, girl? When she keep, when she keep posting boy best friend, when she keep posting honey with the question mark, anything lag, if she rapped, any no any drill rap, New York drill rap, and she know the whole song. I she told you. She is smooth. You already know she's from Brooklyn. I'm not jacking her. Queens, where you at? For me, I need a Queens joint. They ain't to be feeling Yeah, I got green flags, no red flags. What you eating right now? <laughs> bagel with cream cheese, bacon, and jelly. And I got a Bev, so I'm playing. Bro, he's super lit. What's the biggest red flag in the NYC, girl? Sure. Uh, boss thing. What her? That's a no-no? <laughs> I like to put my thumb in bitches' box. So nah. if, sometimes I hit a bitch with them. And her sh stinks, she got a packet. So you bro. smell your fingers after you what? put it in yes, the box, bro? Yeah. Oh, nice. well, I mean, why you... Red flags are women that I think more dudes should know about. If she says she's a lot to handle, go find another one. Yeah. She's a grown woman, not 12. Just because a father didn't raise it doesn't mean you have to. She yeah. has astrology signs Big in her bio where she bases people's personalities off astrology. You gotta kick her to the curb. Yeah. She's crazy at that point. You know how many women done called me a Taurus because of the things that come out of my mouth? I'm a Scorpio. If she's taking a girl's trip to Vegas or Miami, cut your losses, get back in the field. I'm a nightclub promoter in Vegas, so believe me when I tell you she's taking that girl's trip and somebody's taking a trip through her. You think of me? <laughs> Yep, you better listen to them, fellas. Here's some general red flags in girls because some of y'all are getting played and don't even know it. If you're going on a date with a girl and you open the door for her and she doesn't say thank you. Bad manners are a red flag for any gender in general. I wouldn't say this is always the case, but if she doesn't respond and she has like hella people that she just doesn't respond to. More importantly, if she doesn't respond to you, she's not interested if she's one of your friend's exes that's obvious like why are y'all going for your friend's exes that's fucking weird also let's say y'all go on multiple dates if she expects you to pay every single time broke bitch energy no i feel like the first couple real, dates yeah thanks. you should pay for her but after that i feel like y'all should start like splitting the bill or maybe like she should start showing some efforts too because here you are getting used for a free meal and she's texting hella other dudes let me know if you want a part two getting used up Told y'all, man, y'all y'all gonna learn, bro. She just told y'all. Top five red flags in a woman. Number one, a woman who is negative. A woman who's constantly bitching and complaining, you should stay the hell away from because she's a very negative personality and that's gonna rub off on you. Number Depends two, what she a woman who about, never though. texts or initiate contact first. Guys, this is indicative of a selfish or an emotionally selfish woman and you should stay away from her unless she starts pursuing you and at least tries to make some of an effort. Number three, a woman who is not appreciative. She doesn't appreciate Agreed. you. She's not going to make you feel like a man, and that's really not attractive. Number four, a woman who is receptive to your way of thinking and to your lead. A woman who wants to challenge every damn opinion you have and wants to take the lead. Stay away from her because she's not as feminine as you'd like her to be. Alpha. Number female. five, a woman who is nurturing. When she's nurturing, she's supportive, and she makes you feel like more of a man. When she's not nurturing, she kind of brings you down and lowers your energy, and that's really not good for you, man. You're welcome. What's the biggest red flag in dating today? Oh, uh, rainbow hair. Six nine, nigga. Yeah. If she cannot cook, she can't cook. Okay. A saggy body. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Color it here. Color it here. That's it. Color it here. That's the one. That's the one. 
Things I consider a red flag in guys. Any guy who constantly has to tell you that they're a nice guy. Like, if you have to prove it to me, it's probably not that true. Change up who they are completely to impress a girl. Like, they'll talk shit about their friends, talk shit about other girls, throw their morals completely out the window just to impress you, and it's like, this is weird and fucking fake. Guys who don't know how to do laundry or basic housework. Like, tell me you're an entitled mama's boy without telling me you're an entitled mama's boy. Guys who cuss you out when you fellas. reject them or start up. spazzing in your DMs when you don't answer them. Like, anger issues. Oh, yeah, bro. You can't be out here tweaking, bro. You gotta, you gotta. Do you know what actually really boils my blood? Riles me up. Men that cheat. Men that cheat. Oh, they make me so angry. One of the first signs Yo, that I you just know noticed that the person in the back seat is when he flips the phone over so you can't read the messages that come up. Like, why do you feel the need to hide things? You're not a spy. You're not in the MI5 secret services. Put your phone the right way up so I can see everything that's coming in. Another thing that triggers me is when your man says he's going to go out with a friend and not with the boys. So who's his friend? Because it was a boy, you would say their name. But if it's a friend, you clearly want that good good that you should be getting from me but you want to cheat okay so another red flag that i have a problem with yeah is when your boyfriend doesn't post you unless you agreed that you're not going to post each other but if you don't why are you laughing are you oh, guilty well, no 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 yes 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 yes, yes. 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 five red flags in a relationship an obsession with social media Number two, a lack of communication. Number three, controlling or jealous behavior. Number four, bad relationships with friends or family. And number five, gaslighting. Oh yeah, definitely. I agree with all five, honestly. I agree with all of them. Babies! Let's talk about some red flags to look out for. Red flag number one. If y'all are having a conversation, getting to know each other, and you're only asking him questions, he's not asking anything about you, it's because he don't care. He's not shy. He's just not interested. Yeah. Number two. If y'all are in a relationship or talking and he's constantly bragging about his loyalty, that's a red flag. For example, if he's like, babe, this girl came up to me at the mall and I rejected her. Like, I, I didn't talk to her. And then another girl came up to me at the pool and I told her to, like, leave me alone because I'm with you. Like, I told her that. Why does he think he needs to get praised for being loyal? As you should. That's a must. Duh. That just shows. No cap, though, fella. She, she got a point with it, though, because, uh, like I say, bro, don't, don't be running out. Don't be running up telling, trying to be, like, some kind of disney prince or some shit you know what i'm saying telling telling your girl every time you somebody a female interacted with you and you blew her off because nine times out of ten she know deep down inside you didn't you didn't blow her off you you probably engaged her and then you probably maybe got the number and you and she just she just ain't gonna find out but you know it's always good to just you know leave the way it is you know but i mean i, I agree with i agree with that 100 percent you know, you running out, got to keep constantly telling, telling the person, you know, look, I, this person talked to me and I'm so loyal and I, I could have went with them. And he said he had a hundred thousand dollars. And if I leave you, I, he, he give me all this money, bro. Get, get out of my ear, bro. Get out of my ear. How about you take his hundred thousand dollars and go to Fashion Nova? Do that wow. he's not used to giving that energy to people. And that'll show through later on in the relationship. And all these red flags work the exact same with girls. If any girls that you're dealing with are doing these things, that is also a red flag. It's not just guys. These are red flags to look out for in relationships part one. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Timothy Spokes. Don't forget to apply this to your life. Inconsistency. I can't stress this enough. If a person makes you feel no loved one day and then the next day makes you feel like nothing, there is a problem there. There should never be a time where your partner makes you feel like you don't matter. The more consistently your partner okay, shows okay. that they love and care about you, illustrates that it's going to be a good relationship. Trust. All right, guys, we're going to call it right here, man. Like I say, guys, just make sure you guys weren't involved in any of these red flags that, that was mentioned in this video from both men and the women. You know what I'm saying? Because like I told y'all, you know, it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of modern dudes out here, too, that's be on that bs too you know what i'm saying so like i say don't we can't just spend it like it's always the women all the time you know because like i say it'd be some it's some dudes out here that be on some be on some other shit, you know what i'm saying so you know like i say both sides you know uh, a lot of red flags for both for both sides and just make sure 
Just make sure you want to party any of those. So anyway, guys, this is Walker Lito, man. We about to get up out of here. Make sure y'all subscribe, slap the like button, all the good stuff. Turn on post notifications if you're brand new. And uh, everything you need to know is in the description down below. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, your boy need to be a rapper, Nico. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, guys, we about to get up out of here. Like I told y'all before, y'all. Bing bong. Bing bong. So anyway, guys, we about to get up out of here. Like I said before, make sure y'all stay dangerous, stay out of trouble, but stay cool. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Carlito, and I'm gone. Peace. Y'all be. Unto your souls.